I'm Rosie Dixon, I'm the Nurse Consultant for Infection Prevention and Control. And I'm Sally Palmer, I'm Senior Nurse for Infection Prevention and Control. So the Infection Prevention and Control Service fundamentally is about trying to reduce and minimise the harm caused to patients and to do that we employ a variety of methods, part of which is education, so that can be patient education and also staff education. We also um, go and uh, perform clinical reviews, giving advice to patients, giving a clinical advice to staff. Um, but we're also involved very much on the advisory side with other departments such as procurement or estates and facilities. Another big aspect of our role is audit. Um, and the, with audit what we're trying to achieve really is to, to monitor the practices that are going on within the hospital to try and improve them. So identify what problems there are and then look at how we can improve that, whether it's through education or whether it's through um, changing equipment and other, other different processes. Okay, so we'd, um, if it's something that we found during audit, we'd use our educational tools, we'd um, visit the area where we'd, we'd found that problem, we'd try and get staff together to talk to them in their own environment because it's very difficult to get people um, off the wards and, and things to do that kind of training. So to go to them and do it whilst they're at, on the wards, working with the patients and, and try and do small educational sessions, um, working with the ward, and ward leaders and the matrons to get those messages across and looking at whether then that needs to be um, rolled out trust-wide, whether it's something that we think would benefit every all our staff members. And it is uh, been some cannulation and Lyme related infections recently. So going out, been out to um, one of our departments, worked with that area very closely um, on looking at monitoring lines and, and cannulas. Um, done, we're up there every day on the ward delivering that training. So we we sort of reached all staff members, um, and since then they're auditing. Uh, results have been 100% uh, on their monitoring and they've not had any further line infections in that area. Every, it's, infection prevention is everybody's responsibility. It's everybody within the organisation that comes and works here, it's, at, it's their responsibility to help prevent patients getting an infection or preventing themselves getting an infection because it's also around about staff health as well as, as patient health. Um, so it, we it was identified and it is a national requirement really so but we we went along with it totally to ensure that all our staff are trained fully in hand hygiene in the basics of hand hygiene and that's a skill that they can take home it's something that they can then provide it from a public involvement as well so it's it's helping our volunteers are also trained in how to to clean hands and are part of the whole process for improving hand hygiene i suppose we underpin a large part of patient safety. Whilst we may not be directly involved in delivering patient care, it's sometimes it's the knowledge that we bring to our to our colleagues um, and the information we're able to share with our colleagues that helps prevent and protect our patients.